Fox News alert now. The Attorney General, William Barr, is here in New York. He's talking with our camera in Fox News. You may know that the DOJ has said that they do not want Robert Mueller talking outside the confines of that public report. Let's watch together. And in conversations with the department, uh, his staff was reiterating that that was their position. And they asked us for guidance in writing uh, to uh, explain uh, or to tell them what our position was. So we responded in writing. The department sent the guidance they had requested. So Mueller actually requested some yes. guidance. Uh, secondly, what do you think of uh, Congressman Nadler lashing out saying this was arrogant to send this letter? Well, he was misinformed as to the facts. And thirdly, on Congress, any reaction to them holding you in contempt? No. Nothing? Goes with the territory okay. these days. Thank you. And the Attorney General talking with Fox News just then. I, I'm going to bring in immediately the panel now as we were watching him get in the car and, and go to wherever he is headed to. Judy Miller, adjunct fellow at the Manhattan Institute for Policy Research and Fox News contributor. Kevin McCullough, radio host with Salem Media. Uh, Kevin, we heard just a while ago that, and we had been reporting, that there were some conditions uh, for Robert Mueller per the DOJ and that it, it would be that he could not go out of that public 448-page report that he had already delivered. Right. And, and now we've heard from the attorney general talking about that. Uh, not too much more detail about it. Well, let me credit uh, Andy McCarthy, frequent guest on your show, uh, for highlighting this this morning. But it is uh, the request of Robert Mueller that he got that guidance. Bob Mueller sent the DOJ a letter saying, uh, basically, I want permission to be able to be told by you to not go beyond the scope of the report. They granted that, and so that's what, and that's how it's going to go down tomorrow. Which is why a lot of people believe this is going to be a big fat dud. Zero. <laughs> okay, I had on Eric Swalwell, who you know, when mm -hmm. he was running for president, was very vocal about things like impeachment, so on and so right. forth. Uh, and I said, "How are you going to get Robert Mueller to talk outside that report?" He had no answer. <laughs> well, I don't think Robert Mueller is going to speak outside of the confines of that report. That's what Robert Mueller has always wanted. That's what he said the day after he issued the report. And I think that it's pretty clear that, uh, at least on this one, uh, Bill Barr and Robert Mueller seem to be on the same page. What kind of damage does this do politically to the 2020 Democrats that are running? You know, there were eight today um, who went against the president's pick for secretary of defense and most of them were running and now you're looking at a situation where they've narrowed their questions we're told they're having a mock session which Swalwell will tell me very little about but that Robert De Niro was not part of it really <laughs> um, but all of that going on and then if it delivers exactly what we already had which was the Mueller report right. how risky is that for Democrats running well I, I, I'm not a democratic strategist so I'd, I'd don't feel really gifted enough to be able to advise them because this is as as a supporter of the president this is something that I'm wanting them to do this, this is needless wheel spinning that is taking them into the uh, era of mm. irrelevance when there's real problems that they should actually be working on in their committees you know the foreign affairs committee disbanded its subcommittee on terrorism to make room for the Trump investigation subcommittee in its operations that tells you all you need to know well, I have to disagree here. I think that, once again, the Democratic strategy is based on the assumption that most Americans haven't read this weighty, very boring report in some instances, and that the more Americans learn about what the report actually says, as opposed to what Bill Barr, the Attorney General, said it says, the more skeptical they're going to be wait, of Donald wait, Trump and his administration. Wait a minute, it's in PDF form online. Yeah, but, but that, come on, who's going to spend their time when you yeah, can watch Fox News? But my point is, you make News. it sound like there was going to be something different from what is in the public's bloodstream, which is still north of 95% unredacted. Right. Which is, you know, that, that's substantial. At least you can read those first 40 pages and really find out what Russia wanted to do. And this debate about the second question of obstruction is really a tiny question that only the most rabid Democratic base care about. The, the majority of the American people wanted to know, was there actual conspiracy to undermine the election? 
once that question was was satisfied, I think the majority of Americans went back to work the next day and said, okay, back to what we've got to get uh, done for the country. No, the I, obstruction I, I, issue is a much thinner piece of the pie, and only Democratic activists really care. I don't think so. I think people care about the rule of law. I think they care about whether or not the president feels that he's bound by the rule of law or is above the rule of law. And therefore, so, I think those 10 instances of obstruction that were presented in the report are very important. I think you're going to hear a lot more about them tomorrow. <laughs> If they were evidence of a crime, which in the report, the way I understood it, there was no evidence of a crime. If they were, let's just pretend like, I guess what? What are we doing now? Are we making up stuff on behalf of Bob Mueller? Are we saying he was lying? I, I mean, I'm not sure where you go with this if we already know some of the answers. Real well, quick. we have a general uh, belief in America that you're innocent until proven guilty. Mueller felt strong enough to say there's zero evidence of conspiracy, which was the criminal collusion charge. Right. He, he, he also said, I don't have enough to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that obstruction occurred. Yeah, he didn't and count most up people or down say obstruction can't, can't, can't happen without an underlying. So we came in and we were hearing from Attorney General Bill Barr talking exclusively to Fox News, telling us that Mueller, as you said, Kevin, asked the DOJ to send uh, last night's letter. Um, and Barr also hit back on Jerry Nadler, who's been saying that he's misinformed Nadler and that he has no reaction to being held in contempt. In fact, what he said was, it goes with the territory these days. I'm going to thank you both. We've had some breaking news and bring you back on a different day.